Hi, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thanks for showing up. This is your reading for Monday and Tuesday, November 7th and 8th. Um, whew. So starting with Monday, this is, and I feel a little bit um, myself as I'm doing these readings, like I'm so sick of talking about the law of attraction. And maybe that's a message to me that I need to use it more. <laughs> But that's kind of how we're starting today with our cards that I pulled for you. Um, so first thing, I want you guys to look for a sign today. Your angels are trying to get in touch with you big time today. So, oops, sorry. It's out of focus. Is that better? Okay. So they're trying to get in touch with you um, today. And so the more you can pay attention to signs, like things that you hear, um, number repeating patterns, things that you see... Um, Animals in weird places can sometimes give us messages like things that you didn't expect. For example, a few months ago, I almost hit a bear driving down the street. Isn't that crazy? Um, so anyway, that's kind of my point. Watching out for signs, um, trying to identify what they mean. Um, now, how are you going to do that with our color energy today? Purple. We've had purple for a few days now. Now, purple is about our third eye chakra. Okay, this, these are our messages from the divine. This is us connecting to the divine to hear and receive the messages, to see things the way that we're supposed to, you know, to give us a broader perspective. And it says develop mental clarity. Excuse me, sorry. Um, so as we're developing this mental clarity, um, you know, we are learning how to identify signs, to look for them, to observe them, to interpret them, okay? Now today, um, an important thing for you is to take care of your health, okay? Today would be a great day if you never eat a salad to have a salad. I know that sounds silly, but um, it is very beneficial for you. Did you see that little angel fly by right there? Okay, somebody needs a salad. <laughs> <laughs> so challenge yourself to take care of your health in some way today. If it's going for a walk, raking up your leaves, anything, just like at least one health promoting activity. If you could maybe drink more water, anything like that would be great. Um, but we're going to use our purple energy today in order to, um, this is why I'm talking about law of attraction. I'm so sorry that somebody keeps calling me. That's very annoying. Um, but this is how we're going to use Law of Attraction, right? Um, this is why it's important because this helps us to, this purple helps us to sort of release um, the things that we don't want and start to think about the things that we do. Helps us get a clear vision on what it is that we want for our life so that we can use affirmations and start um, attracting those. So we have imagination here and it says, I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So what is it that I want in my life? What is it that is um, important to me? How do I see my life as happy in the future? Like, what does that require? Like, what would bring more joy? So using our imagination and then kind of divining it, right, with this purple energy. Um, now, your daily affirmation for purple is... Divine Intelligent, please delete negative thoughts from my mind, body, and energy field. Okay, so the way that you're going to use this is just like any other color energy where you imagine a purple light ray shining over you and um, you can breathe it in. Hopefully um, you can breathe it all the way from the top through down to your feet and then kind of encircle you like um, a big purple bubble of love and light from the divine. Okay, now here's where... Um, Tuesday is a little bit heavier, but it's actually a really great day for you um, if you use the energies appropriately, which is why, oh, you see that little angel right there, um, which is why this is kind of important. <laughs> um, oh, speaking of Monday, Monday, you might have a lot of interruptions that inhibit you from um, kind of taking care of your health in whatever way it is, but um, I want you to take those as signs. Sorry, forgot to tell you that. Okay, so anyway, on Tuesday, woo, again, lots of angels here for Tuesday. <laughs> and I think, isn't Tuesday election day? I think so. So maybe that's um, why we need to put like a lot of positive vibes out into the, into the universe. Um, like a whole lot of, oh, whoa, another little angel orb. <laughs> and that one wasn't little. That was like a serious, okay. So why don't we all just kind of like put good vibes and um, love energy like into the world for Tuesday.
okay? I'd like us all to do that if possible. It's clearly something um, that we need to do. Angels are showing up all over the place. Prayers for Tuesday, okay? And so maybe that's why I was called to do Monday and Tuesday together, so you have extra time to pray about it. Who knows? But, sorry, we'll get back to your reading. Um, Tuesday. You might be feeling... Um, I don't want to say that this is heartbreak because I don't read it that way. It could be apathy, though, or just, like, lack of, like, loving, emotional, like, happiness and joy feelings, okay? So um, it could make you sad to be in the lack. Um, but for a lot of people, the reason why we're feeling that way is because there's something. Is that better here on this side? Okay. Well, maybe not. Where is it best? Okay. Because there is something that we need to be honest about, and it's hard to talk about. It's so hard to communicate to other people. We have such fear in doing it, but we have to. We have to do what is right. We have to do what's right for us. We have to do what's right for other people, and we have to communicate that. Um, we just are lacking the confidence, okay? But it's so important. It is so important for your life path, for your future. Um, and so your color energy today is white, and it says lighten up. Um, so it's about releasing those fears, releasing any negative thoughts, which is kind of piggybacking on what we had on purple on Monday. Um, it's about enhancing our clarity, like getting to this point where we know what it is we want to say, how we want to say it, and when we want to say it, and being able to follow through. It's getting clear on what it is that we desire, what it is that we need, what is right for us. Um, it's going to bring us, it's like the truth will set you free, okay? If you're feeling unconfident, if you're feeling scared, if you're um, not feeling like like all of this over emotion of like joy and happiness and contentment and love, it's because you haven't done this. And once you do this, you are set free, okay? Once you tell whoever it is in your life or even talk to yourself, get clear, be honest, like live in your own truth, then you can feel that again. But otherwise, the alternative is apathy and sadness. Okay, so you're, um, it's like you're carrying all this baggage around with you until you can just own it and speak it and live your own truth. So that's kind of, it's a hard thing to do. It really is a hard thing to do um, on Tuesday, but it's necessary. So your affirmation for today is, I give myself permission to lighten up and experience ease in my body and my soul. So we're going to want to lighten up today. We're going to want to release any negative um, energies that we have. And a good way, the way I like to do this actually is with the white color. I like sit back and I get comfortable and I take at least like th at least three deep breaths where I imagine that I'm breathing in like a white light ray, like in through my body, like starting at the top. And sometimes I can feel where it gets stuck and I just kind of like push it down and force it through. But every time I take in a deep breath, I imagine white, and then I exhale either black or gray. It can be different colors every time it's a little different, but usually it's gray. Gray little bubbles of negativity, of baggage, of bullshit that I have to release, okay? Bad thought patterns, um, resentment, like negative emotions that I have towards other people or situations, okay? Anything negative. I just So inhale white, and then exhale all of the bull crap. So, and you'll feel lighter. You might get tingly as you do it, and that's okay. It's totally normal. You might not feel anything, and that's normal too. Everybody's different, right? Um, but I hope that's helpful. I'm so sorry for all the interruptions in the beginning of the reading. Um, but, you know, it's funny because Monday is going to be a very interrupty kind of day. <laughs> it's going to be a busy week for a lot of people. So um, you can expect, you know, wrenches to sort of be thrown at you this week and into your plans. Um, so adapt as best as possible. Release your negativity. Try to get clarity is the focus of Monday and Tuesday. And I hope you found this helpful. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to say? I guess that's it. So if you are interested in a personal reading, I'm more than happy to do those for you. I'm always honored to read your cards. Um, my contact information is below in the description box as are links to the Patreon site to uh, Snapchat, Instagram, all of that stuff, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.